It's two small tumors. This in the lungs. Many Motown stars have tragedy winding throughout their lives on and off stage. Mary Wells, the woman who kicked off Motown's all-encompassing success as the go-to label for soul and R&B was no exception. Born in Detroit in May 13, 1943, Wells had a difficult childhood, an absent father and a mother who worked as a domestic to support herself and her three children. At the age of three, Wells was temporarily paralyzed by spinal meningitis and had to learn to walk again. She began singing in church as a little girl and singing in contests and clubs at the age of 10. When Wells was 16, she met an assistant to Berry Gordy Jr. of Motown Records, who brought her in to present a song she'd written for Jackie Wilson. Motown signed her, and she recorded the song, Bye Bye Baby, herself. She paired up with Smokey Robinson, and the result was a string of hits, the biggest coming in 1964, My Guy, went to number one on the pop charts. While her career took off, 